Hey everybody, welcome back to Off the Wall. I'm Mike. Uh, today I'm talking about episode three of Willow, which dropped on Disney Plus on Wednesday. Uh, this episode continues to see us hanging out with our group uh, as they travel to try and save Prince Eric, as well as Willow, now trying to teach the newly uh, um, unveiled uh, grown-up Alora. Uh, magic she was captured by uh the commander of the not possessed commander of the guard last episode and they're trying to track everybody down um it's a very good episode it's it's a very solid episode we learn a lot about what happened to mad martigan uh as uh borman tells kit the story of this adventure that he uh was off on with her father and um we haven't heard the whole story yet there's still more to learn but we're we're getting some inklings about this uh, legendary armor that I'm pretty sure is going to come into play. That's some obvious foreshadowing. Um, we rescued, we rescued Alora. We saw some great moments of growth uh, with Jade in particular, as she had to be the one to strike down the commander. Who was the one who trained her and raised her and is getting, get her into the, whatever you the place where she's going to go become a knight. Um, and we also got to see uh, Willow having, we're learning more about Willow, about how he's having to pick and choose when he uses his magic because it's not, there's not like an unlimited pool of it. He, he can only use it so many times. And as he gets older, it takes more and more out of him to use it. Uh, we also unfortunately see the death of, of his friend whose name I am, I am suddenly forgetting. Um, but in the, in the battle that ensues against the commander, um, unfortunately his friend is taken and it's, it's a, it's a really, it's a bummer moment because the Nelwins have been kind of my favorite part of the show so far. And it was a, it was, but it was a great action sequence. We get to see Willow unleash some of that magic that he has and shows like, like, yeah, no, like, yeah. You remember how Sorcerer said like, oh, you'll never be a great sorcerer. The hell he won't. He really, uh, lets loose. This is, it's, it's a very, um, it's a very plot driven episode with some great moments of action. Um, we don't cover too much ground with this one. It's, it's mostly just going to find a Laura. Um, we have a great uh, cameo from Hannah, Wad uh, Hannah Waddingham who shows up um, as with this pair of people living in the woods who stumble across a Laura as she tries to escape and they try to protect her and, unfortunately are stricken down but it's it's a it's a great scene where Alora is really starting to learn like just how much weight her name carries and how like there are people out there who are willing to throw their lives away to stand behind her and protect her and keep her safe so she's learning a lot about the world that she's probably not been shown because they were trying to keep you know things a secret from her all all her life so um great moments of great moments of character development i'm, I'm keeping this one relatively short guys because this is there's there's not as much to talk about there weren't as many like big aha moments so much as that was just good storytelling good acting my, my one general criticism kind of just stays the same i i don't need these needle drops for the credits um especially not some weird like neo pop metallica cover which was weird but uh um that's my only continued criticism, honestly. I felt like overall the acting was better in this episode. I'm I'm still not super in love with the actress playing Kit. Um, there's still just there, there's definitely something very green about her performance um, and her delivery. Uh, some of the dialogue continues to be a little too modern casual, but it's not it's not as um, overt as it was in the last couple episodes. Um, also we saw where our, our Prince Flash Thompson, um, now looks like he's, uh, got the curse in him. So they're, they're going to have to, uh, figure out what to do next. Cause that's going to break bad pretty quick. So I'll be curious to see what they do with that. But it's, it was a very good episode. Um, very, very, lots of cool action sequences. We're learning more about this world. We're, we're kind of getting the overall, um, the overall story at hand now we kind of have an idea of where this story is headed because i believe there's nine episodes eight nine episodes in this season so we've three episodes in i think it's good that we now we have an understanding of okay like this is this is the road we're going down and um i'm excited to see where else it goes from here uh willow is is one of those shows that it, it's it's our movies rather that just like 
there's so much you can do with it because it's such an un, there's so much untapped potential in it and i love that we're using this show to not only go back and revisit the things we love but also build out that world some more uh because it's a big wide world out there full of lore and full of things that we've that are yet to be discovered and explained so i can't wait to see what they do with it next uh let me know what you guys thought of this episode though if you guys enjoyed it as much as i did let me know down in the comments make sure you like subscribe hit the bell i'll see you guys again next time here on off the wall Bye.